Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the 2023 Thor Vegas model 24.1. Let's check it out. So there's an opening window right here on the passenger side. There's a camera right here in the side mirror. Down below, there's some storage that is lockable. Couple of opening windows right here. Two 110 outlets. Some more lockable storage. This compartment has the connection for your exterior grill. Gravity water fill up here. Check out the big awning above. Opening windows back here. And this is a pass-through lockable storage area. Nice big size. Moving to the rear, backup camera above. Some storage right there. Tow hitch below with seven pin connection and check out that clearance. Moving to the driver's side, opening windows right here. There's some storage right there. The Onan 4000 generator that is lockable. This is your fuel input, your flush, cable, 30 amp plug-in, city water connection, outdoor shower, opening windows here in the slide, storage compartment right there. Under the slide is the propane fill. Opening window right here for the driver. Camera on the side mirror. Let's check out the front. All right, let's check out the interior of this RV. Screen door right here, grab handles, and let's step on in. And this is what it looks like inside. All right, let's start in the cockpit area. I do have to take a step up to enter. This is a big, generous sized seat, very plush. A couple of armrests on each side. Now there's a big cup holder for the driver here. There are power heated mirrors. There's some controls on the steering wheel. There's an opening window on the side here with a large screen. In the center, there's a touchscreen infotainment system. And below, there's a switch to start the generator. There's a cab light switch and the night shade switch, which controls this shade right up here for the windshield. Couple of 12 volts that do have covers and a USB port down below. Now let's check out the passenger seat. So directly in front of the passenger there's this flip down table perfect for eating or working. Lots of space there. Good sized cup holder on the side and there are two 110 outlets below. Again, another large window area that does open up with a large screen. And there's even these curtains that you can use for privacy. All right, let's check out the rest of this RV. Now 
Now, in between the driver and passenger seat, there's an area where you can put a pedestal table. Right above the cockpit area, there's this electric overhead bunk. So I'm going to head over to the BM Pro, and I am going to lower that bunk to show you. That's what that looks like. There's netting around the side for safety, and it looks like a good size for one person. Let's check out the living area now. Good sized sofa, very plush, comfortable. A cup holder right here on the side. There's a wireless charging pad over here. Now above there are two cabinets. Opens up into one unit. Below there are a couple of push on off lights a couple of speakers. There are two 110 outlets over there on the left and two more 110 outlets over here on the right and a light switch for the lighting above the cabinets. Pull down shade for privacy. Big window area with two separate windows below that open up awning style and has the screen. Now directly across from the seating area, there's the TV, so you can watch it while sitting here. There's also stands for the pedestal table, which is stored behind this seating area. And this seating area also transforms into a bed. Let me show you. So this is what it looks like when it's been made into a bed. Plenty of room for two people. Now this sofa and bed is located within the slide and there are seat belts for three people. They are lap belts. On the side of me, they've put up this big mirror and there are two 110 outlets below. So when you have the pedestal tabletop up, you can plug in your devices. Now let's check out the kitchen. So directly on the side of the upper cabinets is the BM Pro. Below there are two 110 outlets and the master on off switch. There's a decent amount of counter space here, especially since they have this countertop extension. The sink is covered and it's a nice big round sink. The faucet is tall and curved and has this nice pull-out spray hose. The cooktop is a covered two-burner Dometic. Below is the microwave and it is convection. Below that there's this large drawer. On the side, there are three drawers. That's the lower one, the one in the middle, and the one on top, all the same size. There's this cabinet right on the side of that. Good space for your trash, and they've included this waste basket. Right in front, there's this big window area. There are two separate windows below that open up and they do open up awning style and they have a screen. There's a pull down shade for privacy. Underneath there are a couple of lights and two light switches. Let's check out the cabinets above the cooktop. There's a good amount of room in there. There is a shelf in there and it is adjustable. Above the sink, another cabinet area with an adjustable shelf. Now this one has a cable and two 110 outlets. Mm -hmm. 
Now right here on the side, there's a large freezer and refrigerator. They are separated, so let's check out the freezer first. It's on top, and it is a really good size. There's a shelf in there that you can adjust, and the door has a bin that you can also adjust. The refrigerator is below, and it's a good size. There's three levels of storage and a couple of bins below. The door has three adjustable bins. Now let's check out the bathroom, which is located right across. So I'm going to open up this door and take a look. Okay, so I'm going to step inside and check it out. It's not too big, but it's, it's a good size. I'm going to start in the shower. It's a corner unit, and I've got good arm room this way. Not so much this way. It does have a shower curtain instead of a door. Big skylight above giving me some good headspace. There are some shelves here to store some products. And let's check out the shower head. It does have this on off switch for the water. I'm gonna step out of the shower and check out this cabinet on the side. Some shelves in there for storage, good amount of space. There is the switch here for the power vent and there's a light switch for the bathroom. Two 110 outlets, a little sink below and below the sink, there's some more storage. Now this bathroom has two doors, so this door here does open up also and it has a full length mirror. So power air vent up above, there's a cabinet right here with a shelf. And below that, there's a good sized toilet that is porcelain. Toilet paper holder below. And there's a towel hook right here. And on one of the doors, there's two more towel hooks. All right, so that does it for the bathroom. Now, right across from the bathroom is the wardrobe area. The door does have this nice mirror on it. So I'm gonna open that up. And it's a pretty good size. There's a hanging rod above, which is not removable. I don't see any shelves in here. This is where you store the ladder and the pedestal tabletop, as well as the pedestal legs. Below, there are a couple of drawers. Good size. And the one below is much larger. Now the bedroom has this accordion style door that stays in place with the magnet. And let's check out this bedroom area. It's a good size. Let's start on the passenger side. So the passenger side here has two USB ports and this little shelving area to stash your phone or maybe your iPad. There's some cabinets above. These open up into one single unit. Below, there's a push on off, a light switch, and two 110 outlets. Big window right here. It opens up awning style, and they are two separate windows with big screens. There's even a pull down shade for privacy. Back here, there are a couple more cabinets, and that is pretty big. It goes back behind these cabinets on each side, so you can use that space up. A couple of push-on lights below. Window back here does not open up, but it does have this pull-down shade for privacy. Moving to the driver's side, a couple more cabinets above. 
opens up into one big unit. And this one has a 12 volt and two 110 outlets on that side. Below, another large window area, two separate windows. They do open up awning style. They have this big screen. And this one here serves as the emergency exit. There's even this pull down shade for privacy. Right here, there's a push on off light and two 110 outlets. Now directly in front of me is the TV. There's a light switch for the lighting above the cabinets and there's some light switches right here for the bedroom, the living room, generator start button, generator stop button, and some more light switches. So this can be used as two separate twin size beds and it's got a good amount of room. While it's in this position, you can see that there are some drawers here for additional storage. So to make this into a large single bed, just grab this back cushion, which has some good board underneath and you just put that in place and now it's a large single bed, good size. So right above the bed in the center is a power air vent. The AC unit is located right in the center of the coach and it is low profile. It's also ducted throughout and right in front there's a power air vent. So that pretty much wraps it up for this 2023 Thor Vegas 24.1. Now, I loved that the bed was so easy to put together into one big bed. I also love that you can use it as twin beds. Lots of storage throughout this whole coach. Loved the big kitchen area. And I also like that there were multiple sleeping quarters in this coach. The overhead bunk, the sofa sleeping area, and the rear bed area. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for lots more videos. Bye for now.